What's happening, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors? We've got another Black Series figure review for you today. We've got Din Djarin from Morak from the uh, Season 2 episode. I'm completely uh, blanking on the name and number of the episode, but <laughs> it's the one where Migs Mayfeld, they have to get Migs Mayfeld to help uh, break into the uh, the sort of the Imperial base and get into the database. So yeah, this one's been out for a little bit now, a couple of a few months. I uh, finally picked it up recently, number 31. It says on the back here, to go behind enemy lines, the Mandalorian must disguise himself. He finds a solution that allows him to follow the way and not reveal his face, an Imperial Combat Driver uniform. So we have him, six inches, 15.2 centimeters. He comes with the blaster and the helmet. In the front of the box, nice picture there of uh, Pedro as Din Djarin. And uh, yeah, let's let's crack him open and have a look. All right, so I've got the scissors here, so I'm just going to do it on screen. Just because I was uh, didn't get around to opening this one until now. Uh, sometimes I've generally already opened them, unless I'm showing. The figure in the box with a window in the picture, but um, yeah, given that these ones don't have windows, it's uh, easy to do, easy to share the unboxing as well. So there we have the figure. We'll take a look in a moment. Helmet is inside the box and the blaster inside the helmet. So, let's take a look. Let's get nice and close. There we go. Not too bad. Not a bad likeness of uh, Pedro there. I think the hair is probably looks a little a little bit small and flat I guess but that's to accommodate the helmet I, I suppose um, but yeah I don't think that looks too bad good likeness of his face and at first I sort of looks a little bit sort of maybe maybe a little, a little bit sad <laughs> I don't know that's just my sort of feelings from the get-go. Um, not a not a terrible terrible sculpt, and yeah, the hair looks a little bit. I don't know the fact that it's sort of quite narrow down the sides of the head kind of makes his face look a little bit round. But um, you know, compare it to, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's hard to tell. I know it's sort of sculpted it's just so the helmet will fit. But I don't think that looks too bad. It will look nice alongside the Migs Mayfeld. So we've seen this figure used a few times over the years now. I think it got, a, got its uh, debut with Solo. Uh, maybe even Rogue One with the uh, Tank Commander. But I can't remember and I don't have those figures on hand at the moment. So... Look at the helmet. Yeah, I think we've had this sort of helmet before with the tank commander from Rogue One, but it wasn't hollow. It was like a solid, solid piece without not not being able to remove it from the figure. So that's what I'm trying to say. It looks like it fits reasonably well there on on Din on his head there. You can kind of just sort of see the neck underneath, but that's okay. Got the uh, Blaster pistol there, which looks nice. No sort of extra paint details or anything on, that, on it like that or anything, but should fit nicely in the holster here. Which is, may need a little bit of warm water. It may need a little bit of hot water just to uh, Loosen up the holster a little bit, it's a little bit sort of... <laughs> I 
So we finally got the uh, blaster in the hand. That was, it was quite a tight, tight fit in that hand, um, which not a bad thing, but um, yeah, it's a nice, nice strong plastic, at least on my copy here. But it fits in there nicely. He's not going to drop that. That's not falling out anywhere. But it looks good. Old brown eyes. So yeah, because it is an older figure, the articulation's a little bit outdated now. Not a bad thing. It's still not terrible. Yeah, single joint in the uh, in the head and neck. Sort of up in the head. Uh, just ball hinges in the shoulders there, so no none of those uh, butterfly joints. Upper joint in the torso there, which is fine because the armor sort of hides that. So that's that looks that looks all right. Uh, ball joint in the uh, hips, swivel at the thighs, double joints in the knees, and ball hinge on the ankles and ball hinge on the wrists as well and elbows which i think i missed before but it still gets a good range of movement there so that's all right but yeah nice addition to the uh, mando shelf It'll definitely look good side by side with migs nice tight joint there <laughs> because i've had a sitting in a box for bloody a week <laughs> But yeah, definitely enough to flex out that. That oh, should be okay. Keep him holding the blaster, it'll be all right. But yeah, let me know what you think about this one. It's uh, definitely not a super duper necessary figure to have in the collection, but I like it. Cool different variation of, uh, of, of Mando. He'll go, he'll go nicely with uh, Migs. So yeah, let me know what you think. And uh, Please drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Till then, may the force be with you always.